Greetings to you all in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from Fernbrook School, Woka. This is the seventh day and it marks the end of Fernbrook Mission Week 2024. Throughout this week, we have engaged ourselves in a time of meditation, prayers and offering to God for the extension of his kingdom and I would like to take this time as we look back to first thank God for he has led us thus far secondly I also would like to thank the parents well wishes for your continuous love care and support for always being with us railing with us in this small endeavors of us thank you for the many prayers that you have made for us and also for your generous offerings even this year also we seek your blessings we seek your prayers as we continue to look forward to witness the love of God to the people to share the message of the salvation of God to the people who are in darkness through these offerings that you have made we will take your name and we will go and reach out to the unrich ones today it is a time for us indeed to look back and thank God for what he has done in our lives and as we look back we have the students from LKG who will be reciting to us a passage from Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 after which you will be hearing the theme song for mission week 2024 we have a story to tell to the nations. Yeah. 
Thank you so much, little children, for reminding us once again to rejoice always. Indeed, this is a time of rejoicing for us, for the many blessings that God has showered upon us. And also, we are reminded at this time that we indeed have a story to tell to the nations. Nations are waiting. Let us pray that God will open up ways for us. This evening, we have three prayer points. Firstly, let us give thanks to God for leading us throughout the mission week, for all the prayers we have made throughout the week, for the opportunity to give to the Lord. Let us pray that God will bless each and every one of us. Secondly, let us take this time to pray for our administrator and his family members. It is through their vision, it is through their wisdom that we are able to engage ourselves in the mission of the Lord. Let us pray that blessings may abound in their families. Let us pray that God will keep each and every one of them protected so that even as they serve God faithfully, they will continue to grow in the likeness of God and that many people will receive the blessings through their family even as we have been blessed immensely. Last but not the least, let us also pray for the teachers, the staffs and students of our school. Let us seek God's protection upon each and every one of them that God will protect us and even this year will be a year of blessing for our school so these are the three prayer points that we will be praying for and as we pray I want to leave us with a message through a song from class 10 students let others see Jesus in you a befitting song to the theme for our school this year light up the world from Matthew chapter 5 verses 14 to 16 the question that we need to ask ourselves do others see Jesus in me do others see Jesus in us the whole goal of our mission is this that others will experience Jesus through us others will experience the blessings of God through us let us pray that God will use each and every one of us to be his instruments wherever we may be so that we will continue to carry his image that we will continue to grow in his likeness that we may continue to proclaim the kingdom of God here on earth thank you God bless us all
pray for the life of our administrator, his wife, man, and their family because uh, they have not just been uh, leading us to do well in our exams and in only just to excel in our books, but they have always been teaching us how to be honest. And also, though they are not here, I would also like to thank your parents as well, okay, for the support for the prayers and the support that they've extended towards us. Uh, very briefly, you need to know our mission is this. What is the mission? Mission means I've got something to do. We have something to do. That is what a mission. Mission number one. We can spread the good news of Jesus Christ, that Jesus saves. How do we do that? We cannot go to China. Shall we go to China? We cannot go to China, okay? But we can send missionaries. We will collect offerings and we will give him money. He will go on our behalf. And we can also buy Bibles. There are so many children in this world, they want to have a Bible. You have a Bible at home, right? So many children, they want to have Bibles on their own. They want to say, this is my Bible and they want to write their names on the Bible and keep it as their Bibles, but they do not have. So what we do, we try to buy Bibles and give the Bibles to those students who do not have. Our mission is not only about buying Bibles and giving it to those people who do not have Bibles, but we also work among the young people, young youth, the young people, okay, who are lost. We are all Christians here, but we see there are so many drug addicts, so many alcoholics, yes or no? There are so many young boys and girls who do not know Jesus. They never go to church. They speak bad words. They fight. They steal. Our mission is our work is to reach out to those young people and bring them to the fold of salvation. That's our mission. Next, our mission is to feed the poor and the hungry. You never go hungry, but there are so many people who, do, who cannot, who do not eat because they don't have. They will not eat for two, three days because they don't have food at home. So with the money that you give, we feed those people. If you are truly a Christian, if you see someone feeling hungry, you give. If you see someone who wants to have a Bible so much but they don't have money to buy Bibles, you give so that they'll have Bibles. If you see someone who does not have clothes, feeling very cold, then you buy and give clothes to him. The Bible says like that. That is why we have this Mission Week program. We collect offering, okay? And then, what we do, you just heard a message in Hindi from Pastor Samuel, okay? We collect and we give. And there, in their prayer house, there is, they have a prayer house. They have a register. They write all the prayer points and they pray every day. Fernbrook School parents, Fernbrook School students, Fernbrook School, especially class 10 students, Fernbrook School teachers. Every day they pray for you. And with the money that you give, it's not the money, it's not my money. The money that is in the box, inside the box is there. Those are the offerings you give. Yes or no? We're going to take out the money and we're going to send it to those people. We buy Bible and give. We're going to give it to those people. This is from class three from book school students. This is from class five from book school students. They are giving you Bibles, okay? Or maybe during Christmas.
Christmas on one year, they did not have money, so they just bought cakes, got it into small, small pieces, and then they celebrated Christmas. Because they don't have money. So on one Christmas, very book school, then we sent money to them, they cooked food, and then they celebrated. We told them, this money is from the parents, from the teachers, and from the students of Fernbrook School. So, this is the mission. And there, in their prayer house, there is the end of a prayer house. They have a register. They write all the prayer points and they pray every day. Fernbrook School parents, Fernbrook School students, Fernbrook School, especially class 10 students, Fernbrook School teachers. Every day they pray for you. And with the money that you give, it's not the money, it's not my money. The money that is in the box, inside the box is there. Those are the offerings you give. Yes or no? We're going to take out the money and we're going to send it to those people. We buy Bible and give. we're going to give it to those people. This is from class 3 from book school students. This is from class 5 from book school students. They are giving you Bibles. Okay? Or maybe during Christmas on one year, they did not have money. So they just bought cakes, got it into small, small pieces, and then they celebrated Christmas. Because they don't have money. So on one Christmas, Friend book school, then we sent money to them, they cooked food, and then they celebrated. We told them, this money is from the parents, from the teachers, and from the students of Fernbrook School. So, this is the mission. And sometimes even in our own town, or maybe in our own district, we also organize programs for youth. And we tell them, this is from the parents, from the students, and from the teachers of Fernbrook School. So what do you get in return? They are very grateful to you. They say, oh, thank you, Fernbrook School students. Thank you. Oh, God, bless Fernbrook School students. I have not seen Fernbrook School students. I have not seen the Fernbrook School parents, but oh, God, please bless them. They are praying for you. So... That is what we are doing. Focusing on a team, light up the world. Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16. I am going to share with us today a very short story about a man and a candle. On a dark, cold winter night, a man lit a candle and he started walking up the building with the candle in his hand. And it goes, as the man was walking up, the candle asked the man, where are we going? And the candle, and the man said, well, Today we are going to do something fascinating, something very interesting. You see, there are many sheep out there in the sea. There are many people who have lost the way. And today, through you, we are going to light up and show the way to the people so that they can reach the harbor seven sound. And the camper replied, But Master, how is it possible? I am so small and my line is so small. It cannot reach out to those people at the farthest sea. They cannot see it. And the man replied, If your light is small, just keep on burning and I will do the rest. They reached the top of the building. 
there was a lamb and the man taking the help of the candle went and lit the lamp suddenly the whole room was bright and from the window pans which had been so nicely cleaned it starting out started sending out rays of light and it was visible from hundreds of miles now this light a small candle has lit a bigger light for those people who are lost most probably at sea for those who have most probably lost directions in their life and in the sea and now they can look at the light and they can come knowing that there's seven sound because they know where the harbor is the seaport is approaching near and they will come and reach a place self and sound that is the story of the candle and the man we may think like the little candle with a little light what can my small offering of 10 rupees do what can my offering of 20 rupees do what will my few words of simple prayer do it can do a bigger thing if this candle can light a bigger lamp, the light that is in us, the small light can light a bigger lamp. And it will become bigger and bigger and bigger. It will send out rays that will be seen hundreds of miles away by those people desperately searching for the light. Those people desperately searching for the direction life and as children of light and as the light how do we send out the light by living in the word of God obeying the word of God by setting examples in a conduct in a speech in a love in a faith and in a purity that is what we are reminded of in second Timothy chapter 4 Today, as we read Isaiah 60, verse 1, and 1, 2, and 3, the glory of the Lord has shined upon us, and that is why we glow. And so, as a light, let us light up the world by our witness of God. Let us light up the world through our prayers. Let us light up the world through our giving. Let us be that light, a light that shines in the darkness, a small light, the light in the darkness, that dispels the darkness. Let us be one who takes away the darkness in somebody else's life. Let us be that light to light up the lost and dying world. This is where we have been called. This is where God has called us. Let us learn to live with them. Thank you. Throughout this mission week, we pray for each and every one who has been part of this.